planet is 75% covered by water. That is why it is called blue planet. In this, 98% of water is salty and only 2% of water is available for drinking purposes. It is a fact that over 1 million people in developing countries do not have access to safe drinking water. By 2025, the United Nations estimates that 40% of the world's population residing in 50 countries will face water shortage. All we need is a technology to filter the salt water by removing salts from seawater and make it drinkable. Uh, the Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to uh, two physics, physicists working in the UK, in Manchester, uh, Andre Geim and Kostya Novozlov. If you have ever drawn with a pencil, you have probably made graphene. A pencil contains not lead but graphite, which consists of sheets of carbon in hexagonal letters. When you write, layers of graphite slide from the tip of pencil and stick to the papers. Usually, many layers are stacked on top of each other, but once in a while, you get a single layer of carbon atom. This is called graphene. Now, let me explain you how to make graphene using pencil and scotch tape. Place a graphite flake on the tape, fold it in two and then cleave it, the flake, in half. Then repeat this procedure a number of times and then a single atom thick layer of graphene can be extracted. Just to show you how strong the graphene is, imagine an elephant standing on a pencil and support the pencil on graphene. The graphene would not break and of course the pencil would. So where will graphene take us? How will it change our world? What benefits will it bring to mankind? How it works? When common salts are dissolved in water, a shell of water molecule forms around the salt molecules. This allows the tiny capillaries of the graphene oxide membranes to block the salt from flowing along with the water. Water molecules are able to pass through the membrane barrier and flow very quickly. This makes them ideal for desalination plants. My startup idea is to create water filters using a graphene oxide membrane to filter the ocean water. Thus, water scarcity can be solved by using this method and water can then be made available to millions of people who live in water-stressed countries.